Hey, what's up? My name is Mr. Popo and we are Popo. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to create this realistic LCD look. It's more of a quick tip than rather a full tutorial. So as you can see here, we get this beautiful, like you're actually looking through a glass and the colors are really blended in and there is an RGB split that is working nicely. And we have more details into that TV look. So you can see that it feels like you're actually looking behind a glass rather than just a texture that is slapped on top. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Now, this is the result that we got from the last tutorial, the liquid glitch animation. So this is a result and it was pretty simple, nothing really happening. So what are we going to do? First, the LCD texture that I'm going to use is this one. Honestly, I implore you to create this on your own. It's pretty easy. You just make a shape, three shapes, red, green, and blue, and you just repeat them. That's all really you have to do. Or if not, you can just download the project. So this is the texture that we have, but it's not really enough because we need to fill the entire screen. So what are we going to do? We can do a motion tile or we can do a repertoire. The reason I prefer motion tile for repeating stuff is because it has this thing here if I go width and height it has this thing about phase and what it does is you don't need to use displacement map and a map to actually you know displace your repetitions you can literally just do something like that and I think that's pretty cool and then if you go 180 you will be 100% getting something that is you know right in the center so that's pretty cool so this is the texture full so I'm just gonna go and do move all attributes into new composition all right now the only thing that I need to do is I need to remove a little bit that blue thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to linear color key grab this take that now we'll see that we have this the reason we need to remove this is just to have this as an adjustment layer and we don't want to affect everything so I'm just gonna go something like this so we're giving up the blue and you will get different results depending on what color you remove I decided to remove the blue cool so now we have this thing here so I'm just gonna put it on top here again this is the result from the last tutorial so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm I'm going to duplicate this I'm going to put it here okay and then I'm going to put this thing as well so that we can see it and instead of using it normally I'm going to use an adjustment layer so I transform this layer into an adjustment layer so right now we don't see anything okay because there is nothing applied but what I'm going to do I'm going to go to fast box blur and I'm just going to increase this to something over 50 let's just say 63 so you'll see what I'm going so this is how I get that TV look so now that I'm getting the TV look it's pretty cool but what I could do better is if I could actually do an add so add will give me this blending of colors so obviously if I put this like that it's too bright and the only thing I need to do right now is just to take this really down so let's just say 44 percent okay so it still has an effect but it's going there now the next thing that I need to do I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna put the texture here so the texture that we got here that we did here I'm just gonna go and put it inside the composition of the animation that we created or if you have an image that you want to make this out of it you just put this texture that we created just now and you put it on top of the image and put it in overlay so you'll get this effect it is really 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 important for me to mention how important it is that you should have this okay so if you're going to put a picture, you should have the LCD. Below it, you should have this dotted LCD. Again, if you don't know how to create this, you can just watch my previous tutorial. So this dotted LCD is basically just a solid. And we use two Venetian blinds to just have this squares. And once we get the square, we just blur it to get a circle. It is really important that you get this to get this effect. Without it, the effect is not going to be full. Now that we put that, we're starting to get somewhere. All right, so we're starting to see some texture here, but it's not really there yet. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna activate this. And what this does, just so you know, it's a bunch of grungy texture. And the reason this pops up literally everything, it's because of the color of these grunges. Cool, so you can see it pops everything much higher. So you can see the difference here. So that's pretty cool. Now, what we need to do is I'm just gonna take this again and I'm gonna duplicate it and put it here. Let's put everything back again. I'm gonna put this one back to normal. What I want to do with this one, I'm gonna add a Venetian blinds. I'm gonna put a 70 to three. So I'm gonna get this again. We discussed Venetian blinds so many times, so I'm just gonna go pretty quick. Okay, so I'm getting this, which is pretty cool. Now I'm just gonna show everything. So you see what I'm saying? So you can see that it pops up a bit and then we have all the others. Cool, this is when it comes to that. Now, if we go to somewhere like this, yeah, you can see, we'll be able to see. I'll just wait for it. 
So as you can see, we'll be able to get all this. Now, the one thing that we could do, the one thing that we could do to actually add more stuff into the stuff. So if we go back here to our scene here, let's go back to 100%. I'm just going to do a quick chromatic aberration. And if we just do 98%, I'm going to get this effect here. So I'm just going to copy this. Just gonna unmount comb. All right, so we're getting a little bit, but I'm just gonna go to 44%, and then I'm just gonna go here and put it there. Cool, that's great. And then obviously, if you put the Yati, the man trick, this is gonna go much, 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 much better. Curves, tint, and a fast box blur, exactly like this, and then you just screen it. That's all you need to do. And uh, there is one thing that you could add if you feel you fancy adding more details. The one thing you could add is, um, take this, put it here. Okay, take this, put it here. Great, now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to this placement map, and instead of using that, I'm gonna use this with the effects. Okay, so I'll just look at it. I'm gonna use it with the effect. I don't want really that, I just want one and one. So you will get these displacements between each bar, and that's what I'm talking about. If you wanna add more details into it, without it, with it. So you can see the difference here. So let's go a little bit here. All right, so as you can see, there is a huge difference, but without it, it's something else. You see, kind of brings up to that. So that is how to get that hyper realistic look of LCD screens and how to get really the blend without using a CRT technique. I hope you enjoyed this tip. My name is Mr. Popo and we are Popo. I'll catch you on the next one.